What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys part 19 for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way all the way up Route 223 and made our way to the entrance of Victory Road. And in today's video, we're going to be complete Victory Road and making our way towards the Elite Four. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, Come on, yo, subscribe to the channel, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. Seriously, shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. But yo, let's get started with Victory Road. I'm pretty sure we're stacked up. Pretty sure we're ready to go. We got revives, we got potions, we got repels. Our team's fully healed. We're ready to rip up. We're ready to rip up. So let's get after it. We do have rock climb, which is just any right. We have rock climb. I know we need rock climb. So let's see. Yeah, we do have rock climb. Awesome, dope. Let's get rocking out with Victory Road. But I kind of forget the pathway. So, you know, I feel like if we just follow the trainers. Should be pretty much set, but yeah, we're gonna get after this. We're gonna get after this. We're gonna complete Victory Road in today's episode, and then probably next episode, we're gonna defeat the Elite Four, which is gonna be awesome. Might have to train up my Pokemon just a little bit off screen because you guys know Cynthia's Pokemon are pretty strong. They're pretty OP. Not gonna lie to you, that Garchomp hits like a truck, and it's pretty much a bear to work with. But we got two really good Pokemon to kind of deal with that. We got the Togekiss, who can't get hit by a Dragon Claw or an EQ. And we also have our lovely little frost ass who can just hit that thing with an ice beam four times super effective and just dump on that pokemon so uh, I'm, I'm liking our chances up against cynthia i'm liking our chances and of course we're going up against a noctowl right here who roosts on turn one like yo who does that yo that it's kind of funny i said who does that it's an owl get it yo jeans is hilarious who does that who little owl owl jokes over here i'll be here all night guys i'll be here all night but we're trying to level up our lucario and he's going to take some big damage here. This thing's going for a sky attack. He's going for a nice, lovely little sky. He dipping out of here. He dipping out of here. But we're going to still stay in, and we're going to get after this thing. Roar Spirit's going to poke out here. And we say, yeah, yeet, and we got to hit it one more time. Got to hit it one more time. This thing's going to come down hard, but sky attack should be able to eat it up. But it's kind of scary, because we are steel type. Yeah, all day, baby. All day, Lucario. If we were normally just fighting, we probably would have died that. But, you know, Lucario's just too good. Another Roar Spirit flying out here, and we're leveling up this boy. Hopefully we can have him to level 50 by the end of Victory Road. Victory Road has a lot of trainers and a lot of Pokemon that give out huge XP. But level 47 to Lucario, level 58 to the Togekiss, man. I think it's just thriving in the levels board. Thriving in the levels board. He's gonna uh go into Star Raptor, and in that case, yo, we're gonna bring out my lovely little Frost Lass. We're gonna bring out my lovely little Frost. I could go into a Thunderbolt, but Ice Beam's definitely gonna be the call here. Ice Beam is definitely gonna be the call here because, you know, it's super effective, just like Thunderbolt, but we get that sad damage on top of it. So we might be able to take it out one shot. Frost Ice is getting his levels up. He's getting his levels up high. But this one, this one I mean by a Pokemon that's gonna give us a lot of XP. Like, dude, this dude's throwing out a Star Raptor. Third evolution, pretty high level. We're gonna get a bunch of XP from that. And there goes my Frost Ice, taking that thing out in one shot. Get him on out my game. We do not want him. We do not want him here. Look at that XP, yo. 21 hundo. Come on, yo. That, that's that's a good chunk. That's a good chunk. You'd love to see it. But that's the best part about Victory Road. We're not going to be versing a little puny little first evolution Pokemon anymore. Nah, yo. We all about that uh that big Pokemon. But I guess we guessed the wrong path here because, you know, we just came here for a full heal. And that was a waste of my time. But we like that XP. But in this at, at this point, we can kind of just come back here and take that other option on the path, which is Rock Climb down here. And I kind of felt like this was the right path. Use my Babiro, my HM Slave over here. Yo, I love how they did that. He's at, and I guess we'll cut left here. There is a trainer, but actually, yeah, Leo, let's first that trainer. I think it's just a Pokeball up here. And I think this is the wrong path, but yo, like I said, we need the XP. I'm down to verse a lot of trainers in today's video. I'm down to train a lot of trainers. Because, like I said, Elite Four, higher levels, definitely higher levels. I might have to uh, train off screen. I might have to train off screen just a little bit. And the best way to actually do it, well, which I found in this game, is to just go into that underground and just start ripping up on the Pokemon in the underground. It's awesome. It's an awesome way to do it. The, a Pokemon in the underground, especially in the fire cavern with the camera ups, like you just keep like uh, exiting the building and coming back into the den, and they'll keep respawning. Verse up on the camera ups, the Houndooms, any evolution Pokemon, and you'll get a ton of XP. You'll get over 2,000 each time. But he's going to end up swapping into lovely little Alkazam, and I'm going to bring out my, my main man, Shiny Houndoom, here to get the job done. He plays no games around here. Still can't believe we found him during this play through. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I love going back to the comment section down below in that video and everyone's just like, yo, dude, you're just so lucky. I'm like, dude, I know. I know. It was just so random. That was actually like my, I'm trying to think, my third, I think that's my third shine, random shine. I think I only have three ever. One was when I was a kid. I didn't even know that. I told that story back in, uh, 
like episode four or episode like seven. Actually, this was, it was like the episode after I caught Houndoom. And then I found one in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And then this one. But I'll get to that story yet again in just a second. In just a second. It's a very good story about my first ever shiny that I found. And I didn't even know it was a shiny. I'll definitely get to that one. That's a solid. That's a solid. Uh, that's a solid story. I tell my friends it all the time too when we're playing. Like It's probably like every time a new Pokemon co game comes out. And everybody has like a. Finds like their first shiny. I tell that story and everyone's just like. It's just one of those stories that I always tell. But we defeat Psychic Price over here. And we can head up to this top path. And I believe it's just a Pokeball. I believe it is just a Pokeball, but I believe it's a good thing. I believe it's something good, right? Torment. Nah, it wasn't anything special. Wasted my time, dude. Wasted my time. But to my story, if you guys never heard it, I found a shiny Diglett once when I was a kid, and I had no idea. But yo, did we go the wrong way? We went the wrong way. Our repel wears off. We're going to go back up here. Let me find this right path. Let me find this right path. Did I miss it? Is it up here? It's across the bridge, isn't it? Oh, it's across this bridge. Okay. Jeez, Gene Joe, you're better than this. You're better than this. Let's head down this one. And now we're in the right path. But back to my story. We were sitting. I was sitting there as a kid playing Pokemon Leaf Green for the, for the Game Boy. For the Game Boy, man. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. A lot of fun game. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Went inside the Diglett Cave. Just farming up levels, doing my Diglett stuff. Like, you know, all you find in there is Diglett the Duck Trios. And I found a Diglett with a black nose. And I was sitting there. I was just like, I was like, yo, what is up with this? My game must be broken. I'm granted, I'm like six at Man, I'm like six at the time. I'm like, dude, my game's broken. Why is the dick with the wrong color? I don't like this. This is scaring me. So I ended up just like killing it or like turn off my uh, Game Boy. I totally forget. It was one or the other. I was like, yeah, the game's broken. We need to get rid of this. And then I, after I killed it, I went back and I found another diglet and they were back to normal. They were the normal color. It wasn't shiny. I was like, oh, awesome. Game's back to normal. Glitch is broken. Cool, cool, cool. Five, six years later, it just pops back into my head when I know more about shinies. I'm like, yo, I found a shiny Diglett when I was a kid, and I killed it, or ran away from it. I totally forget which one, which it was, but like, I vividly remember it. I vividly remember it, and it's just hilarious that like it popped in my head like five, six years later, and I was just like, yo, I can't believe that I messed up like that. I can't believe I messed up like that. But we want to learn Meteor Mash, and it is physical, so we're gonna say nah, yo, we don't want to learn because we are a special attacking, lovely Lucario here, and we already have Flash Cam, which is a great steel move. But it's just so funny how. That popped in my head five, six years later. I was like, dude, I found a shiny Diglett and I murdered the thing because I thought the game was broken. <laughs> it's just so funny how you remember things in life. But we're gonna pop a nice little flash cannon here. And ooh, that thing soaks. What wait, that's not super effective? Wait a minute. That's not super effective to a bussy? What typing is that thing? Oh, it might not be fairy. Let's see, it might not be fairy. This thing's just a bulk, dude. This thing is just an absolute bulk. <laughs> I mean, we'll go for a word. Is this thing just normal? Because in that case, normal will be super effective. Let's see it. Coming in with that roar spirit. I thought it was fairy. And yeah, it's normal typing. Why did I think it was fairy? Because it's because it looks exactly like Clefable. He's going to go for double edge. And we soaked that up. It's because it looks like Clefable. So I just, I just, it looks like it. It must be fairy then. Like, <laughs> that's just how our uh, brains work. If it looks like something, it must be the same as the other. Like, you know? <laughs> World Shirt comes out here, and we take out Blissey, and I believe Blissey gives a crap ton of XP. I believe this thing gives, like, it should be over, like, 3,000. That's a lot of XP, I think. 6,000? Oh, my lord! Yo, I said 3,000. This thing comes out. It's like, here, have double that on a silver platter. Yo, that is good. He wants to learn Leaf Storm, and I do not want to learn Leaf Storm. I do not want to learn Leaf Storm. I'm sorry, I do not want to learn Leaf Storm. Just special attacking. I believe Venusaur, or not Venusaur, Torterra isn't too good on the special attack board. Let me see it's special deck. If not, I can go back and give it a heart scale. I really want to. I really want to. Okay, look at the special attack compared to physical attack. I need wood hammer. And I believe this thing does learn wood hammer. I believe it does. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. But I'm almost positive it learns wood hammer at some point. I need to give out some potions to my lovely Lucario. Because, you know, we love one up the boy right here. Level 48. Everyone's getting some dandy levels in. And now I can head up the steps. Yeah. We can head up the steps this way. And make our way throughout Victory Road. Doing pretty good here. Doing pretty good here. Gotta do Rock Smash. Gotta solve puzzles, but 100% that this is the right path. I think we have to go down here. I mean, up might be an option, but we're not up. To the left could be an option. And here's Strength Rocks, but I vividly remember doing these Strength Rocks. Vividly remember just, like, punching through these rocks, doing all this good stuff. You gotta hit this one down, and then hit this one over, and hit this one down twice. Or just once, and just make your way around the rock. So cool. Now we're sitting here, and I want to go up here. What is up here? 
Where does this path take me? That path takes me back, but I believe this is the right path. And I'm going to challenge you, buddy. I'm going to give you a whooping, yo, because, you know, Jeans needs the XP. All day, Jeans needs the XP. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. He's going to send out a rapid dash. We got to switch out. Lucario, I'm sorry, yo. We got to swap you out. Our lovely little floats was going to get the job on here. But, yo, I'm loving it, yo. Look at all these cool Pokemon that they're rocking out with. Look at all the cool Pokemon. We just saw an Alkazam, a Blissey, a Gengar, and now a Rapidash? Loving it. Loving it. That's something I really like about Victory Road. Like, it's just a huge step up. It's just a huge step up. Let's see if he's going to rock out with Smart Strike. Smart Strike on a Rapidash. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But let's just go into a lovely little Waterfall. That should be able to one-shot it. We have nice physical attack stats, nice speed. So we outspeed and get them all out of here. But it's weird, in the last episode, at Route 223, we were, like, versing trainers with, like, tentacles, mantikes, like, nothing special at all. And then it just takes a skill hop. Once you walk in Victory Road, it's just like, yeah, now you verse these top-tier Pokemon, you're versing Rapidash, you're versing Gengar, you're versing Carnivine. Like, these guys have no problem. No problem. Let's go into Houndoom. I believe Carnivine's all grass, right? Or is it grass and water? I feel like it's a grass and water type, but, I, but at the same time, I feel like it could be grass. It just looks like a grass and water type. Back to what I was saying. If it looks like something, it probably is something. <laughs> like, does this thing look like a grass Pokemon that lives in the water? But I believe it's just straight grass. Looks like kind of like seaweed grass, you know? So it could be water and grass, but I think it is just straight grass. Yeah, it's straight grass. Later, it might have a little bit of poison in it. It's a cool Pokemon. Definitely a cool grass Pokemon for uh, this gen. I do dig him. I do dig him. He's going to send out Rampartus, which will be his final Pokemon. And this point, yo, actually... We bring out Torterra. No, yo, Floatzel. Let's get Floatzel out here. Level 55. Torterra's level 57. Loving myself this Floatzel right here. Love me some Floatzel. So I'm going to send this thing out here. Get ripping up on it. Tell this thing bye bye. He's going to send out the Rampardos. We're going to say night night. I'm part of this. That's cool, Pokemon. Definitely a dope uh, Gen 4 fossil Pokemon. Actually, one of the cooler fossil Pokemons overall. Overall, one of the cool fo fo cooler fossil Pokemon. But we still dump on it in one turn. But I'm trying to think. I did not really like Sword and Shield's Fossil Pokemon. They're cool. They're good for competitive. But design-wise, get them out of my face, yo. Get them out of my face. There's a lot cooler design ones. Like, Tyrantrum's cool. And that, uh, the ice one that comes with Tyrantrum. I don't even, I totally forget what its name is. Kind of reminds me of Ampharos, the name. But I honestly forget. But let's push this rock. Let's solve this puzzle. We gotta push that rock. Use Rock Smash and then push that rock straight back. And then, you know, come over here and Rock Smash this way. But I believe this is the right path. Because I, if I'm correct, we battle this trainer. There should be a staircase up and to the right with a few more trainers. And we kind of just go through that way. I'm pretty sure that, that's correct. Pretty sure we are on the right path. But Ace Trainer Sydney wants to work. She wants to work. And she has a Cliff Fable. And we will be super effective at this. Because I know for a fact that this one is very. So Lucario is going to be able to poke out of here. Whip up on this thing with a lovely little flash cannon. And I wish I would have had Max Ethers. I wish I would have brought or bought Ethers before coming here. Because I should have known Lucario's moveset. Or move pool is kind of low. So I should have known that we were sending a bunch of them. So he's going to throw a meteor match at meteor mash at a steel type Pokemon. Come on, yo. These trainers are better than this. These trainers are better than this. We're going to throw a nice little Roar Spear. Finish this thing off. Lay to Skata. Lay to Clefable. Get them on. Out of my face. But yo, I love Lucario's like inverted knees. <laughs> like you ever look at him? It's inverted knees. On the back of his legs. Rotara's going to fly out here, and this is a perfect time for Frost Ice to come out here. Perfect time for Frost Ice to come out here. Special attacking, because Torterra's special defense is right in the trash. And then we're four times super effective, because he is grass and ground. So Ice moves just dump on Torterra. Like, I made a competitive video using Torterra, and it was a lot of fun. Like, Torterra's an absolute beast, but any Ice Pokemon or any Ice-type move, you got to get him out of that battle. You got to get him out of that battle, because he's dead. And chances are they outspeed him as well. Chances are they outspeed as well. So it's real tough. Frost Slice is going to get the levels. Frost Slice is going to get the... Or Frost Slice is going to get the level. And Floats is going to get the level. And this thing wants to learn Aurora Bell. Sadly, as much as I love the move of Aurora Bell, we do not have any Pokemon to set Hail. And you can only set up Aurora Bell in Hail. So I love you, Aurora Bell, but you're not going on my Frost Slice for a main story playthrough. For a main story playthrough. But let's push this rock over here. And we're going towards the right way. Because if I believe if we go to the right, it's just like a TM... Or a nice little item. So we're going to battle trainer and just head down the steps. And keep moving along with Victory Road. Better than Clayton over here. I think he has some cool Pokemon. Let's see. Star Raptor. Nice little Raptor. We got to swap out my boy. We're going to get out my Frost Slash. 
We gonna get out my Frostlass. Lovely little Frostlass. And I have to make a Lucario team. I think maybe a Lucario team for competitive uh, double battles could be coming next. Be a pretty good idea. Be a pretty good idea. Because Lucario is a very cool Pokemon, especially it learns inner focus. So Intimidates can't affect it, it can't be flinched, which are two huge things in double battles. Intimidate Pokemon and Fake Out. Just two huge things. So having a Pokemon like that, it's really, really good. That can learn inner focus. It's gonna go for takedown, that doesn't affect me, and I'm sorry, Star Raptor. But I have to do this to you. I apologize. I apologize, but I have to shoot an ice beam straight to your beak and tell you to go home and get on out my face. I still haven't used Star Raptor yet in any competitive battles. Maybe I should use him. Learns Intimidate. Really good. Really good Pokemon. Lucario is gonna hit that level 50 mark. And you know, my Pokemon are starting to thrive. He's gonna throw out Hippowdon. And you know what? I'm gonna keep out my lovely little Frost Ice here because Ice is super effective. And this thing is a defensive bulk, so we might be able to take it down in one shot. But I think its special defense isn't too shabby either. But I know it's I know it's more on the defensive side. Ice Beam's gonna fly through here. Can we get the one shot? Can Frost Slash show off its power? Oh yeah. All day, baby. All day, Frost Slash. I knew this Pokemon was gonna be a great choice for this team. Been loving it ever since I picked it up. Actually, ever since I evolved it in the Frost Slash. Because, you know, when it was a snow run, we, we didn't really use it. We were just leveling it up, waiting to get our stone to evolve it. And then we were just like, okay, it's time. We, we're not going to use this first evolution. But Repel wears off. Heck yeah, we want to use another one. Let's keep sending it. Now we're on that upper bridge right here. And this part is where we go down. Yeah, now we go down this way. And we cannot hop over this rock because if we hop over the rock. I believe there's a rock right here. Yeah, if we hop over the rock, we start from the beginning. So do not hop over the rock. Rocks are a pain in the neck. And then we have a trainer right here. Beautiful. I probably should have switched Pokemon before he even battle on this guy because we know he's going to have fighting Pokemon. He's a karate guy. He, we know he's probably going to have a Machamp. If I had to guess Machamp, right? Let's see. Yeah, yo, Machamp, right? <laughs> All fighting guys in Victory Road in any Pokemon game with one Pokemon is usually a Machamp. They're usually just like, here, yo, Machamp. Typical fighting Pokemon. And do we go fighting be fighting on him? Nah, yo, you know, we're going to swap. We're going to swap into our lovely little 58, level 58 Tokus. We play no games with this guy. We play absolutely no games with this Toad Kiss. And we're going to be able to throw him out here. We're going to be able to drop a nice lovely Air Slash and take this thing out. He's going to bulk up. Hey, leave me alone. Good thing we didn't say him with Lucario. If we would have went for a fighting, fighting battle, this thing would have soaked up whatever move we were using and just dumped on us next turn. He's going to get that defense boost, that attack buff, but it's I'm, I'm sorry to say that we're just going to Air Slash here and kill you. Your bulk up means nothing to me. It means nothing to me. Togi Wogi says, get on out of here. And the best part about if somebody's surviving an Air Slash, we have a high chance of flinching because it can flinch. And then we have Serene Grace on top of it, which is our ability, which makes additional effects on moves have a higher chance. So a flinch chance is always a high chance to land. I believe it's like a 50, maybe 60% chance of landing a flinch. It's really, really good. It's really, really good with Serene Grace. But we're going to pop down here. And now we come to this part. And this part has a few trainers. And uh, why do I think there was fog down here? Why do I think there was five down here? But I know the exact path to go to. It's going to be hopping over this water and battling this trainer and then just going straight across to the top and then looping our way back around. Yeah, Jeans knows the path. Jeans knows the path. There's really not that many items in here that I want. So I'm not really just going to be like scrounging around looking for all the items, making sure I go in and out and loop it all the way around this uh, Vicky Road. I'm just kind of making my way defeating the trainers and trying to get towards the Elite Four. That's the Gene's goal. That's the Gene's goal. He's going to send out a lovely little Chingling, and I'm just going to go for a nice little War Spear. Even though I really want to set up a Nasty Plot, we're just going to hit up on this first evolution within a War Spear. Okay, not very effective, but we're doing some damage. But we're doing some damage. He's going to yawn on me. He's going to yawn on me, so we're going to have to swap out our next Pokemon. But we can finish this thing off right now with a lovely little War Spear. So instead of going to sleep, you know, dang well, that we swap. That we swap. Actually, we might go to sleep here. And I have to use, like, a full heal. Uh-oh. That's just ugly. Don't go to sleep. Let me swap out my Pokemon. Ah, man, come on. What you mean? <laughs> it's all good. He's going to send out a Chimacho. And in this case, I'm just going to get out Houndoom because I believe it's a Steel and Psychic type, right? Is it Steel and Psychic? I know it's Psychic, but I believe it's Steel. I'm going to say it's Steel, or maybe it just might be straight Psychic. If not, we have Bite for this thing. So, we shall see. Chimacho is going to come out here. And look at that. It's a, it's a cool Pokemon. Makes a little bell noise. I dig it. And let's see if it's Steel and Psychic. I totally forget. I know it's Psychic for a fact. Nope, it's just Psychic, I guess. I guess this Pokemon is just Psychic. He's gonna drop a little wrap on me. And that move looks pretty tough. Puts a little wrap around me and just gives me a little squeeze. 
Look at that. Just, just, just a little squeeze. Just to chip up a little bit of damage. Just to chip up a little bit of damage. And yo, if any of you guys do fantasy football, I got some bad news for you. Jeans has been knocked out of fantasy football. It was a sad night. Last night, it happened. To the one and only Cooper Cup. To the one and only Cooper Cup. There's just no beating. There's just no beating. No beating Cooper Cup. So hopefully you guys are doing good in your fantasy football leagues. And if you guys have Cooper Cup, I don't like you. Even though I wish I had Cooper Cup on my team. <laughs> but yeah, my buddy who I versus his team is stacked. He was just... He's just, his team's just too good this year. He has, he has every player that is popping off right now. He has every player that's popping off. He has Cooper Cup, and he has Matt Stafford alongside with that. So, the points are just up there for him. He also has Jonathan Taylor and Joe Mixon. Like, come on, yo. He, his team is just stacked. All the players that are popping off, his team's just ripping. But I had a good run. I had a good run. I had a good team that didn't really perform too well this year. I think I went 6-8 and eight in the whole thing, including in my playoffs. So, it was 6-7 and seven in regular season, and then I had a... Had an L in the playoffs. Knocked me out. But, oh, yo, I didn't take on my Lucario. And he's asleep. And he's asleep. Oh, yeah, it was rough. Could Because starting off the week, my first player, which was Travis Kelsey, put up 41 points for me. 41 points for me. It was solid. It was, everything was looking good. Everything was looking clean. And then I had Tom Brady. He, he was so consistent throughout the whole year. And then he put up four. And then Chase Claypool, who put up one. And then I had other players who didn't do too well. I was just like, dude, what you mean? What do you mean, dude? I was doing good in the beginning, and then, you know, just got rattled. Just got rattled. But it was a lot of fun. It was actually my first year actually ever doing fantasy football, and I absolutely loved it. And the best part about it is, like, I wasn't I wasn't even going to do it. Like, my, my friend group needed one more player to actually, like, complete the uh, league. And they're just like, yo, you got to do it. I'm just like, dude, I really don't feel it. And they kind of, like, forced me into it. Absolutely love it. Like, I was so hooked on it. I was so invested. I was, like, looking up stats, looking up this, looking up that. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yo, I love it. I love it. but that's just like who I am like if I'm doing something I kind of want to do it to like my fullest potential and I'm really like competitive a little bit I'm not like competitive I'm just like like I, if I know I can like be good at something like I want to be good at it I want to be good at it but we make our way to this path over here and we make our way up steps and we're kind of I think we're getting pretty close here is this Clayton is this her dude no it's a new guy it's a new guy we're actually almost done this victory road right here we're actually almost done this victory road which is pretty cool which is pretty cool here and I think, oh, yeah, it's going to be good because we do have to verse somebody after victory. So he's going to send out a lovely little tentacle. And I, I think this is close to the end here. I think this is close to the end of victory road. And why do I still my party out, man? What am I doing? Let's get out of Frost Slash because, you know, we rocking T-Bolt on this. Thing. We are rocking a lovely little T-Bolt. And I'm liking my moveset on all my Pokemon. I'm really liking my moveset on, on a lot of these Pokemon, especially Frost Slash, yo. Burns, Ice Move. Thunder move or electric move for coverage, and then we have Shadow Ball for stab. Dude, it's just lovely. It's just lovely. It's just lovely. Thunderbolt's gonna poke here. Do like half. Yeah. Do like half. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And he's gonna have Reflect Type. Yo, what? This thing's rocking with Reflect Type. The Potion Tentacles type became the same as False Ice type. Yo, I'm sorry I have to do this, but now Shadow Ball is super effective to you, buddy. <laughs> That's a big mistake. Because I outspeed you. I outspeed you. Get him on out of here. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm gonna change your type. And we're just like, okay. I have Shadow Ball. And then send it after that thing. 51 for a level or for Lucario. And we got some good levels on him. Golem's gonna come out here, and this is prime time Torterra. This is prime time Torterra. Prime time Torterra, baby. And I have to remember to go into my bag, heal up my lovely Lucario. Gotta heal up my lovely Lucario. But Golem's gonna come out here, and Golem should be able to give out a huge chunk of XP. And he's a very cool Pokemon, man. Back in the day, I always wanted Golems on my team. Golems and Machamps for Gen 1 teams. But it's just like, dude, you have to trade for them. And it was such a pain to trade back in the day. You had to get, like, your, your, your wire out. You got to actually go find somebody who wants to trade with you. And it's just a pain. It was just, just awful. It's just awful. But Golem is so sick. He's so sick. I think he's a very cool Pokemon. Very, very cool Pokemon. Same thing with Machamp. Two. Actually, dude. They have all the, I feel like all the trade Pokemon are always very, very good. There's never, like, a dual Pokemon that you have to trade to evolve. Like, I think Sifter you have to trade to evolve. Something like that. I'm pretty sure who's sick. Golem, sick. Machamp, Gengar, amazing. All the Sinnoh evolutions that you have to evolve. Porygon Z, Rhyperior, Magmortar, Electivire. Like, oh my god, yo. They are all top-tier Pokemon. I feel like there is not one bad, uh... I feel like there's not one bad, uh... What's it called? Can I swap? Can I, can I, can I get up to my Lucario? Thank you. But I feel like there's not one bad evolution, trade evolution Pokemon. 
Like they're all top tier. They're all so sick. They're all so sick. If there is a bad one, let me know in the comment section down below. But I feel like the Pokemon Company does a really good job with doing that. But I'm gonna go for my Roar Spears. I know I'm asleep. He's just gonna pop some Aqua Jets, which we should be able to soak up pretty well here. An Empoleon, though. We're just still getting Empoleon at. You get this from my boy, uh, Professor Rowan? You just get it from him? Lucario is still slumped, man. Lucario, yo, wake up, yo. You don't take long naps. He's gonna brine on me. Yo, he brines on me. Chill on me with the brines. Lucario wakes up. Aurora Spear's gonna poke. Yeah, yo, yeet. Get after this thing. And, oh, I'm just taking out one shot. I'm just taking out one shot. He's gonna brine on me again. Yeah, we got so. What you mean? Brine doing me to actually brine's double damage when he's below half. Should have known that that was gonna take me out. Sandstorm subsides, and we go on to bring out our lovely. Who's gonna get this final kill? Let's get out Houndoom here. Houndoom needs that more XP. He's on level 53. So we'll get out our lovely little Houndoom, and we'll get ripping from him. We shall get ripping. Do do do. Boo do boo. We're gonna hit this thing with a fire bang. Just rub it in his face. I know it's not very effective. Actually, it's normally effective because it is part seal type. That stinks. Poor water penguin. Poor water penguin can be killed by fire moves. That's sad news. That's sad news. Veteran Edgar, go home, dude. Get out of this cave. Go go see your family. Like, you've been in this cave fighting kids for, like, 20 years. Go see your family. They miss you. They miss you, dude. <laughs> but let's survive out of Lucario. Now, we don't have to use a full heal, but I'll hyper potion him up. Just give him, just give him a little bit more X or HP. No, I don't want to use an Ultra Ball. I want to use a hyper potion. Bop. I did get some more Ultra Balls after that whole Dialga fiasco. But let's go over here and over this way and... Uh, is it this way? No, this way is not the right way. But there is a Pokeball here with Zink in it. So, over this way, you can only get past this little uh, NPC right here. If you defeat the Elite Four, it's for post-game stuff. That should where you uh, kind of make your way towards Shaman. And you can get the Destiny now. It's the only spot to get it. It's pretty cool. But we'll make our way towards this way. And I think we have to get, uh, hit a, what's it called? Hit a Rock Slide. Or a Rock Climb. We have to Rock Climb somewhere. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Is it up here? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, we have to head down. What am I doing? What am I doing, jeans? We have to head down this way and go this way. And we have to make sure we don't hop over these rocks. And we got to climb up here. Lovely. Yes, I would love the rock climb. I'd love to get me a rock climb. Go this way. And we got to loop around one more time. And then I believe we are finished with this place. Like I said, it's not too long if you know the path. But if you're doing everything. Oh, actually, this is not what we want. How do we solve this? This kind of looks confusing to me. How do I solve this? Why is this? Oh, never mind. I know how to solve it. <laughs> Jeans figured this out here. But no, I think I think maybe we miss a spot. I think we should be almost on this place. But we have to do this, this, and then push this thing up, and then give me this Pokeball. Dark, dark Pulse? I'm with this. I think Houndoom does learn this, leveling up, but I kind of just want to give it to him now. So he has it. Let's do it. Special attacking. And our Houndoom is special attacking. Oh, yes, sir. Give him this Dark Pulse. Got to give him this good Dark Move. Uh, what move do I get rid of? I mean, Payback. If they're outspeeding us, Payback could be really good. But I kind of like Bite. I'm going to get rid of Payback. Screw screw Payback. Get it out of my face, yo. Dark Pulse is probably the only Dark Move we're going to be using with him anyway. So like I said, we're special attacking. We have a modest nature for this thing. This thing rips. It really does rip. I'd love to get a better Fire Move. Maybe like Fire Blast on him for big Fire Damage. Maybe we'll go uh, get moves before we do the Elite Four. Maybe we'll do that. But is there like a rock climb section that I can climb up here? I gotta see this. Is it is it over on this side? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, yeah. Yo, so we're pretty much done here. I think we just go up here. We battle this trainer right here. And we are thriving. We are thriving. Let's see if I can dodge her. Yo, what you want? 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 Let me dip you. Let me dip you. Oh, could you imagine if you can go fast enough? Just like dip her out real quick. That'd be pretty funny. But yo, I forgot to mention... I know, like, everybody plays mobile games. I've been grinding Bloons Tower Defense Battles, too. That game is so much fun. I'm a big fan of the Bloons series. Like, Bloons Tower Defense. Absolutely loved it. And Bloons Tower Defense Battles 2 came out, and I've been loving it. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. So, I might start a club in that game. So, if any of you guys play that game, I'm going to get you that club code. Or that club name and all that good stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, you guys should definitely join. You guys should definitely join. I didn't start it up yet, but I am going to. Gibble's gonna go down here, and if he sends out a Gabite, you know dang well we get out our uh, Togi Wogi. Because our Togi Wogi plays no games. Plays no games. Gibble's gonna come back out here, and we're still getting out of Togi Wogi. Get her out. She's level 60, dude. She's level 60. We definitely have to do a little off screen training. I think we might. I think we might. Or maybe we can just use our pure Pokemon skill to defeat Cynthia. 
Maybe that's the play. Maybe that's the play. Let's go in. He's gonna go in with another Gibbs. And I think I think it's kind of whack, but it's kind of cool at the same time. That I think he, this trainer goes Gibble, Gibble, and then Gabite, and he does not go Gibble, Gabite, Garchomp. But I think the reason for that is like Cynthia is supposed to be like that only trainer that has that that Garchomp. So they're like nobody else can have it. We're just gonna save it for Cynthia, and Cynthia can rip up. What's the one sword and Hydro Pump? Um, I don't even think I want to give this thing to it. It's special attacks that isn't that good, but it's not too bad. I kind of like our moves that we have. Not gonna give it to it. Sorry, Hydro Pump, get on out my face. He's about to send out a Gyarados, and we'll keep Togi here. We'll keep Togi because we do have Shockwave. And we can just pretty much finish this thing off considering we are 11 levels. 11 levels ahead of this. God dang, Togi, man. Who would have thought you'd be this high on levels compared to everybody else? Almost 200 HP as well. Shockwave's going to poke here. Gyarados, get on out of my game. We don't like you. You're gone. You are gone. Land it a crit as well. Just to rub it in your face. Just to give it to you. Just to give it to you. But Gyarados drops down. Give me that XP. Any levels? Nah, no one's going to get some levels. Toki's actually flying up there. You almost got a level from that. Toki's almost got a level from that. This Dragon Trainer gives us a bunch of Poke Dollars. And we can make our way towards the end. I don't think we have another trainer left. I think that's the last trainer for this Victory Road, right? Did we do it? It is the last trainer for Victory Road. Didn't take us too long. We did really well. And we make our way to the Pokemon Lake, dude. And I absolutely love the music here. And I love how it's just like up on a rock. Like you're really high up here. The music is just so soothing. When you make it here, it's just like, oh, yeah, yo. I made it. I'm ready to battle. I'm ready to battle. But this is just like such old Pokemon stuff. It's like Waterfall gets you up to the Pokemon. Every single Pokemon game, you need Waterfall. It takes you all the way up it. And you are just chilling. But yo, look at this place. Look at this place, yo. It's just gorgeous. It is just a lovely little scenery here. And look, down here, I actually think it's cool how they show that other route. That's the route that you can take. Uh, with that NPC that was blocking that path in the cave. You make your way over there. It'll actually lead you over there. Pretty cool. Pretty dope. But look at this, yo. Gives us a cool little cutscene of the Pokemon League. Ooh. Little glass shrine shows us. We make our way inside here. And one more thing before I, that I want to do before we actually finish off today's video. That is actually versus our rival one more time. Before you go into the Elite Four, your rival's going to stop. He's going to be like, hey, yo. Let's get after it. Let's have a battle. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I guess I'll leave my Lucario. I guess I'll get Lucario wrong, but this is how it's done, baby. Yep, there he is. Barry, my boy, yo. Let's get it, baby. You meet me here, you're going down, yo. I'm finishing you off here. I think his Pokemon are pretty leveled up. They're fully evolved, I know that. He has all six. But I don't think they're, like, that much leveled up than me. I don't think they're... I think they're, like, a couple levels below me. Maybe, like, four or five. Let's see. Maybe Lucario might be the same level as them. I can see Lucario being the same level. But I'll, I'll keep Lucario in here. Actually, Lucario can't really do much here. Only level 49. Let's get out of Frost Size here. Let's get out of Frost Size. Maybe this thing will go for a takedown. Maybe we could just open up. Let's see this thing's play. We're going to swap to a Frost Size. And I should have known he was going into Star Battle right off the bat. Like, he does it every single time. He's going to go for a close combat. And we dodge that, yo. We ghost type. It don't affect us. It do not affect your boy Jeans. So we're going to drop a lovely little Ice Beam. We're going to say, hey, yo, Star Raptor. Get on out my game. Oh, this thing. Does that a free Sash or are you holding a Sash? He's holding a Sash. This thing is stacked up on items. Maybe we should give our Pokemon items, but we can't really get good items until post game, which is a little whack. He's gonna go for Steel Wing. That did some nice damage. That's just, that did some scary damage there. That did some scary damage. We're just gonna drop a uh, T Bolt here and finish this thing off. So, Star Raptor, get on out my game. Star Raptor's gone. He out of here. He is gone. Uh, I'm trying to think what other Pokemon he has. I know he obviously has that. Uh, does he have that Empoleon or does he? Is he rocking Inferno? I think he's rocking Inferno. I get that I, I get confused because like the newer games they take the the weaker starter and in the older games which I like they would just like scumbag you they'll be like hey we're, I'm gonna take the starter that's super effective up against yours and they're just like okay that's cool <laughs> this thing has a floatzel pretty dope love and floatsy and I can just hit this thing with a do I go with a giga drain you know I'm gonna go with the raised leaf reason I was well his hand is quick claw he's quick clawing even though he's gonna be fetched on me anyway and I should have went for giga drain can we eat up, that up we do eat that up. And that's why I was going to go for the Giga Drain. Because I knew this thing was going to outspeed me and do some damage. But Razor Leaf's going to be able to poke through it. Get on out of the game. But I think I should go back to that uh, the mall. And get some cool TMs for my Pokemon that really need it. Like, I, I would love to get Fire Blast to my Houndoom. I think that's a perfect move for him. So we might go back there and actually give that to him. We get some XP. He's going to send out Infernape. 
in this case we are definitely going to switch and we are going to go into our floatzel which floatzel might be faster than an infernape floatzel might be faster than an infernape let's see floats is going to poke here and this might be my next team i'm going to build a swift swim floatzel team could be very very fun could be a lot of fun we just waiting on directions and we should hit the thing with a nice lovely waterfall He's gonna go for a close combat which you should be able to soon. all day floats all day this thing's defense is gonna drop i don't think it's holding another focus ash and then waterfall is gonna poke hit up on the thing and say yo if we're gonna get on out my game what level was this thing on 55 okay so i think that's his highest level that's not too bad that's a that's a decent level should be able to get a decent amount of xp here drop his lovely little fire monkey and 61 for Togi, man. And 59 for Torterra. The levels are flying. Togi's level 61, dude. He's just cooking on level sport. He's about to send out Rose Raid. And this is where we get out our prized possession. Our pride and joy for this playthrough. Our Shiny Houndoom. I love every time I pull him out. I'm like, Shiny Houndoom. I call him Shiny Houndoom. <laughs> Not just Houndoom. Yeah, look at him. A little blue tint to him. Looking dope. Looking dope. Rose Raid's going to poke. We're going to head up on this thing with a flamethrower. You have dark pulse though dark pulse is awesome and it and i really like that how it, it has a chance of making the user flinch really good move all around really good special attacking dark move. probably one of the best dark moves in the game for special attackers hands down because physical attacking don't really have a lot of good dark moves besides like crunch other than that it's just like yo special attacking is the way to go with dark pokemon but well, we're gonna get 52 with lucario 54 with Houndoom, and he wants on dragon pulse so i give him dragon pulse for a coverage move we could this race is uh Attack and special attack. I think we just get rid of workout. Might as well just have this coverage move on us. We might as well. Considering we have nasty pot, so why would we ever use workout? Because we're all special attack. There's no point of having workout with nasty pot. He's gonna send out Snorlax, and this is where my boy Lucario is gonna shine here. This is where he's gonna shine. And I'm gonna nasty pot first turn. I'm gonna set up this Lucario. Let him do some big damage. Even though maybe a nasty pot might not be able to take out Snorlax in one shot. This thing is a beefy little mod. He's super beefy. Look at him. Snorlax. <laughs> Love this guy. Let's set up a nasty bot here. We outspeed. Do a little thing and put some question marks over her head. Do a little dance. And our special attack is plus two st plus two stages. Snox is gonna drop a hammer arm. Hey! 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 Yo! Hey! What you mean? Think he has a hammer arm. Dude's rocking with hammer arm. His speed's gonna drop. Hammer arm's so good. Especially with Snorlax. Was not expecting him to rock out with that. But do I bring out Yeah, we gotta bring out Toby here. He's hurting Lucario like that. We gotta bring out Toby. But Hammer Arm hits so hard, and the only downside to it is, is it drops your speed. So a Pokemon like Snorlax, where everybody already outspeeds him, it's like, yo, why not? Why not just lower our speed? It, it has no effect. We're gonna come out with that. We land a crit, which is dope. And show me the flinch. Show me the flinch. Yes, sir. Flinch comes out here. And I'm gonna go for another air slash. And is this thing ripping with full restores? So I want to kill it with Metronome and see what move we can use. I'm gonna drop that thing down and he flinches again yo so lovely and you know what i don't think he's rocking full restores because he would have healed up the star raptor and metronome's gonna pop yo use a cool move yo i always love using this move every once in a while we use it we use earthquake we use eq yes sir <laughs> metronome so sick because it's just like a randomizer of what move you're gonna use it is so sick a little eq action sending an eq with a togekiss Haircross is gonna come out here what other Pokemon do I have? Heracross is scary, but we do have Houndoom. But I don't know if Houndoom outspeeds him. So I can take out Heracross so easily. So easily with this, uh... With this, uh, Air Slash. But I want to go into a Metronome. Which we are going to do. Because we play no games. We play no games. Do something cool. EQ again. Does it, does it matter on the terrain? It might matter on the terrain. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. But is he just going to be EQ this whole time? All right, he's towards end. He's got to go home. We got to take this thing out. He, I think he outspeeds like everybody on, on my in my party besides the Togekiss. So we have to KO this thing here. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. Air Slash coming out here. This thing has Sword Stance set up. Nah, yo, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> Air Slash going to poke out here. Get out my face, yo. Heracross is so good. He's really, really strong. He is really, really strong and quick. Like, you let that thing set up in competitive battles, it's going to run you. And one of the Elite Four trainers does have that Pokemon. So don't let him set up that Heracross. It will run you. And I believe it's a Guts Heracross. It will run you. Watch out for that Pokemon. But we take out Barry. He gives me some mean cash. And more importantly, he gives us a ton of XP for our Pokemon. Giving them a bunch of levels. And does he give me anything else? Or does he just say, hey, yo, good work. I'm out of here. 
I guess he just leaves. I guess he just leaves. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, you guys already know, we're going to be taking on Elite Four and becoming Pokemon Champion. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.